Hey, everybody, and welcome to another stats video. In this one, I am planning to just update you all with the Jasp Jamovi comparison. Now, this one's three years. It's been three years since I did my last Jamovi video. You know, to be fair, look at, look at it, look at it. To be fair, it's one year later. Okay, so the reason why I did one year later is because in 2020, when, you know, everything hit the fan uh, because of COVID. Uh, I put together you know, videos. I was just like, what, what can I do? What can I do? So I put that one video up there and I compared these two side by side. And I'm going to do another side by side comparison with you all today. So in 2021, I produced a video here that was a year's worth of updates for the two programs. We in 2021, we had just 0.14.1. And we had Jamovi version two, and I had been creating videos on both of them. Uh, I had started with Jasp on like 0 0.10, and then I had started Jamovi videos on one point. And I got a lot of good feedback on this video, but a lot of people were asking, okay, well, it's been three years now, Alex. What are you going to do uh, for a three-year update? Because, you know, these, video, th these programs have changed considerably in that three-year time, and that is true. So let's go ahead and let's just shimmy off this uh, old one year later. Honestly, though, I will say that this video of Jasper Jamovi, which one you should you use that one? Uh, it's playing. I don't know if you could hear that. I don't think you can. <laughs> it was playing. Um, which one should you use? And I had the side by side analysis here. You can see. Oh, you can just see uh, which one. 0 0.11. OK, 0 0.11. And if we go back here to the start. OK, all right. I think it has to do. Oh, because it went to the multiple regression. I'm sorry. Let's see. 0 0.12.2 versus 1.2. Point one nine. Oh, it, that's even that's even lower than I had started uh, make when I started making videos. OK, so I had these two side by side and I was comparing them together. And then we did the uh, one month or the one year later video. And here we are. Why Jamovi wins an in-depth comparison. And I just said Jamovi wins a year later. So let's get rid of these two. Let's get them out of here and let's compare to what we have now. Right. So we have. Well, to be fair, Mac versions have two point five for Jamovi. Uh, they have two point five. Um, so that's not where I should be. That's fine. But here's the thing. I'm not updating to 2.5 because it's an incremental change. They were fixing some stuff for exporting and I didn't really need that. And then where we're at with Jasp here is um, I'm on my Intel computer um, 0 0.18.3. They have a uh, Apple Silicon one ready to go if you've got an Apple Silicon. So that's why it says Intel right there. So three years later, what is the difference? Does Jamovi win again? I don't know. That is an important thing to determine by the end of this video. I hope that I can make some headway in that comparison. All right, so let's talk about the state of where these two programs are. So there hasn't been a major change to Jamovi since I want to say um, March of this year, which is not to say uh, a ton, right? That's when they went from 2.4 to 2.5. They did end up um, in 2.5 in changing their underlying R engine, so to, to 4.3.2, which is why, I, I mean, I haven't updated yet, but that's a good reason to update, of course. Um, and then a couple of Mac iterative changes and then one uh, Windows iterative change. And so uh, no huge changes since last year, 2023. Uh, OK, so 2021 and 2022 were their big years of adding um, different uh, modules and pay attention to the top part here because everything else is in packages. Um, we've got these, we've got these and actually logistic regression and then frequencies were all the way through this one as well as factor reliability analysis. Data reduction is um, also in the base package. And then you could add all of these and they added a scroll, which is amazing. They added a side scroll. I love it. I have a, a side scroll mouse and you can do it. It's amazing. OK, um, and then you can do J the Jamovi library. And uh, uh, there's been a lot of changes in these modules since 2023. Right. Um, th these are independent developers. Well, some of them, I should say, are, are the Jamovi devs, but uh, independent statistician developers creating packages in R that they need for their work uh, that they put in here. I think it's uh, it, I mean, it's phenomenal. I have all of them installed here. Um, and then there's also the ability to sideload, which I haven't even gotten into at all when using Jamovi. Jamovi has the open source. Uh, textbook with data that you can use, right? It's got the R module and so the base R module and then it's got this R module here. It's got a ton of stuff to teach people how to do uh, power analysis. Um, what else? Some statistical stuff, one sample Z test, uh, distributions. It has a lot of basic stats stuff, modeling and plotting. Um, obviously using R, of course, and then really, really niche stuff like foodie stats. 
I did a, I had a video on this module. I was just like, let's just explore it. I don't know how to do food statistics, but let's just do that. I mean, I, I know about just, just about right analysis, but in everything else, I'm just like, eh. speaking of, there's another jar here. Um, and it's got a, a number, uh, Oh, here's J Power, JJ Stats Plot, Behavior Change. It's got MedMod, which is a good uh, mediation moderation analysis tool, right, for process like or process esque uh, analysis. Some might consider it to be better than process if you're familiar with process and SPSS, right? It's got the ability to modify your variables, transform them, filter them. Uh, compute and transform, but also weight variables. You can edit directly in Jamovi, and that's been the case since its inception, right? Um, analyses is what we were just on. And then it has the ability with a lot of different options to modify a results. Uh, whatever output you get, you can add a code block in. You know, if you get the output in R, you can then add a different, uh, the, the code block itself. You can change headings, links, formula, font. It's, it's an incredible little suite. It's about a gig to download, at least for a Mac, I would say. And then you can add your modules in under analyses, and these are going to be put into different folders. But you don't have to have these. You can have the base Jamovi and be, do perfectly basic statistics with it. And I think that is valuable and useful. Um, now it's going to just leave me on this results page. Let's go to let's go to data. So there's at least something there. Um, uh, you've got the ability to save as a Jamovi wrapped file, you know, which will save your data and it will save your output in the way that you've edited it. I mean, it's incredibly robust. You can save it uh, as a uh, CSV, so you can just get the comma separated values from your data. You can do a special import of different kinds of data files. And of course, you need to upload it from your PC, of course, data, this PC or the data library, depending on what modules you install, they might come with data to use though these four here are your basic ones to start with. You can see that I've done a number of things. It opens SPSS files natively, and I believe it can uh, open other proprietary like Stata or SAS files um, natively as well. You can export to another kind of data file. So SVGs for images, uh, EPS for uh, editing images in like Photoshop or whatever, and then PDFs, of course, if you want to save all of your output in um, a PDF to share and maybe on osf.io or or something, maybe pilot data that you can include in your pre-registration. Or if you're doing this for a class with your group members in a group, uh, experimental data group or something like that. You know, one of these ways to do that. And, and then, of course, you can just keep making new ones. So it is extremely robust. And of course, it's free, open source. Uh, they have a robust forum. They have a robust blog. They have a robust developers hub, which is, I think, through GitHub or at least a GitHub-like um, forum. Right. So not just forum for users to find out what's going on, but also for developers to get there. And, you know, they're really good at uh, talking to people, finding out what needs they have and, um, you know, saying, no, this isn't something that Jamobi can do. Maybe look at R. Uh, and, and of course, they are, um, you know, just really nice dudes. Jonathan Love is a really, really nice guy. Uh, I've talked to him a couple of times uh, briefly, of course, not nothing too crazy, but like, you know, he's really nice. And, and just looking at the forum and everything like that, he's, he's really kind to most people. So it's got a great set of developers uh, and a lead developer and Jonathan Love. So awesome program, useful for teaching. I use Jamovi in my teaching, and that is mostly due to this learning statistics with Jamovi. Where's my LSJ? LSJ, where are you? LSJ, somewhere around here. Can I never remember where it is? Learning statistics with Jamovi, there it is. And, and so I use these in lab to teach my students how to use the functions. And, and, and the reason why is it's so nicely labeled with all of this, like uh, data manipulation, open up the night garden dialogue from in the night garden TV show. That's awesome, right? AFL margins by year, Australian football league winning margins by year. It's so fun to just use all of these to play with and know exactly which one to choose to describe how to use the functions in that without having to use the data sets that I have for their homeworks, right? So this is a, and it's a free and open source book, right? So you can assign it as a, another thing for your students to read, right? So this is a, just a really, really robust program for all of your needs without having to teach R uh, and other programming, especially if your students aren't adept at programming. So I still give Jamovi like a nine out of 10. And that's not different from 2021. I don't think I rated them, but I'm just I'm giving it a nine out of 10. It's been it's been a great program for the last four years, I think is when I yeah, I think I started using it in 2020 fall of 2020. So, yeah, about four years now. Um, and that is two classes a year, one in fall, one in spring, where we're using Jamovi. We use it a little bit more in the spring semester than we do in the fall semester. But, you know, it's still it's still really important. Let's move on to JASP. JASP has seen a lot 
of changes in the last year, year and a half, I would say the biggest change for this 18.3, 0 0.18.3, because it's still technically in beta, um, is among the biggest changes in a really long time. Uh, and and 18.2 and 18, 18.1, 18 came out last year, I'll say, in September of last year. Um, and its biggest feature really puts its rival at, uh, at Jamovi. Like, they're now really at the top. I think I probably would have rated Jasp as a teaching tool um, through 2021 on that, you know, one, one year later video. I think I would have rated it a six out of 10 because it was good, but it was still, still Bayesian oriented. But the developers since 2021 have really kicked it up several notches. And it really did start with uh, version 18, but I don't want to take anything away from version 17 either. Version 17, right? It's been a while since. So we did uh, version 12, uh, 0 0.12 in, um, in the 2021 video. So of course it's, it's had, what, five, six iterations since then. Um, so let's, let, me, let me tell you some of the changes that have been added to JASP since the one year later video in the summer of 2021. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's, let's jump into this. So with version th uh, 0 0.13 in July 2020, right after that video came out, they added... A, a few dozen new R packages to the base Jasp. Okay, they added uh, a bunch of Bayesian stuff. They added uh, crosstalk, uh, ggpoll, officer, open SSL, RS Connect, uh, stat mod, all sorts of different ones. Right, um, engine improvements, uh, new maze, uh, mixed models. So if you're doing uh, fixed and random models, you can do that both Bayesian and frequentist. Reliability, both Bayesian and frequentist. A new R console to you know to interact with the underlying R engine, right? Um, and then they added uh, Benford's law in 13, and then in 0 0.14 in October of 2020, they added the learn Bayes, the learn Bayes. So here's learn Bayes. You can do a number of different uh, modules to teach you Bayesian statistics. I have a series of videos, I think three videos or so. This has been, there has been addition since I did those three videos, but um, I did a few of these and it, it's decent. I don't know if I know Bayesian statistics from it, but that's it. it uh, you know, it is, it is what it is. Uh, PDF exports uh, were added as well. Okay. And then um, they improved over the course of 2021. And then in 2021, they and in 2021, they added 0 0.15, which came with plot editing. So you could edit plots that you made. I have a video on that. They added a structural equation modeling. They added some plots to t-tests and ANOVAs, learn bays with more stuff, more, dis more for descriptives, regression, frequencies, all sorts of different new features and improvements. 0 0.16, only a couple of months later, added more languages, machine learning, summary stats, more regression and audit stuff. Like, all sorts of different things. Meta analysis as well, I think was a big one. And then 0 0.17, um, oh, actually I should say 0 0.16 in 2022, they added Apple Silicon native support, which is amazing. Um, and 0 0.17 was fantastic. Oh, 0 0.17, 2022 was a, was a solid year for these guys. 0 0.17 came out in 2023. They added a syntax mode where you could edit your, uh, you could edit the R code and do a number of things. Keyboard navigation, I have a video on that. Uh, more SEM, they added JAGS and then just added features there. And then they just kept going in 2023. It's like amazing. R syntax in results, save SPSS files, a power analysis module, uh, just so many things, right? Um, but then at the end of 2023, 0 0.18 came out. 0 0.18 came out and they added the, the thing that everyone was clamoring for. The, every, the thing that all of those updates are fine. You could probably do something similar in Jamovi. But the one thing that kept Jamovi on the top of the, of the pyramid here, the choice for most people, was data editing directly in this, right? I could add in a number here and it would stay. And I could save that as a CSV. Well, September 2023, the JASP developers heard you. They heard everyone saying, you know, we love JASP, but we don't like having to go back and forth between JASP and a spreadsheet program like Excel. And having to save something as a CSV file, making a change in there, saving it, waiting for it to update in JASP. Like, it was a fairly seamless process, don't get me wrong. But they added this one feature, and I think it is the, it is the most phenomenal feature, and that is the, you know, the, the, the data editing, the data editing module, right? And, and unless I put new data here, you're not going to actually see it. And it has synchronization with, a, you can synchronize changes that you make, and they've updated this. There were a couple of bugs at the start. But, you know, this, this last few months, they've, they've uh, managed to uh, fix a few bugs between synchronization of the CSV file in your spreadsheet program, like Excel, and the changes that you make within this. But, like, I can add a number in here, right? 
I can add a number in here and it's there now forever. And if I add a new number, it's going to make a new variable. It's amazing. This is what people were asking for. So I said in 2021, it probably would have rated it a six out of 10. It is now honestly a nine out of 10. So what do we have? We have a friggin' tie. Oops. We have a tie nine out of 10 for both. So to compare the two programs is to wonder what am I using it for? What am I using it for? And that's a really important question. Okay. So if you're a Bayesian or if you want to do Bayesian statistics in your research, JASP is, is of course what you're going to choose. That's it. Hands down. You can add a Bayesian module. It's, it's kind of funny. It's actually the Bayesian module that you would add in here is the JASP Bayesian module. It's what JASP uses to do Bayesian statistics because it's honestly an R package and they just added it here. I, I, this is not an alphabetical order, so I don't know exactly where it is, but yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what you do. You do, you get, you get the JASP Bayesian stuff for um, Jamovi here, right? So if you like how Jamovi looks with its blues, then you can go ahead and grab that um, that package to add to Jamovi, right? You can add all of these in, but these modules are included in the JASP download. So it's just a function of checking, you know, it's just a matter of, of checking or unchecking these boxes, whether or not they'll appear in your top bar here. And of course, we've got the side scroll, which is amazing, right? Um, some of these modules are still in beta, which I mean, the whole program is in beta. So there we go. Um, so again, the module, the, the, the program itself is more than a gig to download now. That doesn't mean that it's that big when you open it, at least for Macs. I don't know how big the download is for Windows, but be that as it may. Both have cloud-based functioning, although I would say Jamovi wins here because they host their cloud on their servers, whereas Jasp, you got to go through the set app, I believe, or some other program or service. I can't remember. I have a video on it. Um, and it's a little unwieldy to use uh, online. So Jasp cloud is not as strong than Jamovi cloud is. So does that eke Jamovi out? No, I don't think it does because really the cloud versions are for those students or practitioners who have Chromebooks. And honestly, I don't think anyone should have a Chromebook uh, to do statistics. Do some people have no choice? Absolutely. Then you have the cloud uh, to the, the, the cloud versions to 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 work with these two. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you're here asking for my opinion on which one to use. As I said, Jasp, if you're Bayesian, hands down, um, if you are going to be doing a lot of editing of your output or your data, Jamovi. Now, I did say it was a game changer that we have that we have edit data in here. I, I, that is a game changer. It still isn't as strong as the data editing functionality of Jamovi. Like there's, there's no, there's no denying it here. Um, now of these two, could you get a go, could, could you get away, away with the, 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 the lack of, of power here? Yeah, sure. Of course. But if you're going to be doing a lot, I do suggest Jamovi teaching. Ooh, this is a big one. Teaching statistics. I want to show you one, uh, a, a module that came out, um, in 0 0.18 and that is learn stats. Normal distributions, binomial distribution, central limit theorem, standard error, descriptive stats, variability, p-values, confidence intervals, effect sizes, and then the decision tree, which I've used in my teaching just to show my students. These, this is a phenomenal module. It's a phenomenal module. And I think it is useful if you are using the computer program a bunch in teaching, a bunch. If you're using it minimally, then I don't know. This is not. But to use learn stats in your teaching, you can modify things to show students how stuff is changing. And I think that's really incredibly important. So I would say if you're teaching, learn stats is a lot easier than any of the modules that you have available to you in Jamovi. OK, oh, so what is what to do? What's your choice? Leave your suggestions and comments to influence what people choose. Jasper Jamovi, which one is it? Which J R based program are you going to use? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know on social media, whatever. It's fun to talk about these two programs and the uh, applicability of each. I know some people who use Jamovi in their teaching and they love it. I love it. I'm probably not going to switch to Jazz just because I have all of my instructions set up for Jamovi. But if you're starting fresh, it really helps to know which one is going to serve your needs the best. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.